Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, making you another awesome math video. And this one is on taking a mixed radical, so something like, I don't know, 3 root 5, and changing it to its entire radical, which would be 45. So the process is how did we get, how did we get to there? So, um, well, let me show you with this example in particular. So this is this is mixed, of course, and this is entire. So if I look, these are square roots. That's the important thing to recognize. So um, this is a square root. So in order to go uh, put everything underneath the root sign, so I have 3 root 5. In order to put everything underneath the root sign, what I need to do is I need to do whatever the opposite of my root. So it's square root. So I'm going to square the number. So I'm going to square the number that's on the outside and put it underneath the root sign. So 3 squared times 5. So this is exactly the same. You can kind of see if I took the square root of 3 squared, that's just going to give me 3. So they're the same thing. So now I would just have 9 times 5, which is root 45. Just like that. Fairly simple. Straightforward. Let's try another one. Excuse me. How about um, 4, 2? So this is a squared again, so it becomes 4 squared underneath the root sign times 2. So that's 16 times 2, or root 32. There we go. How about a cube root? So if you have something like 2 and the cube root of 4, so then... I have to undo a cube root, so to say, or do what's the opposite of a cube root. So the opposite of a cube root would be a um, cube. I don't know if that's correct, the opposite, but it works for me. Um, so 2 cubed times 4. I guess inverse would be correct. So 2 cubed is 8 times 4, which is also cube root. Of 32. So, um, really, guys, it's pretty straightforward. Let's try one more. Let's do another cube root. So, let's go. Um, I'll go 2 cubed again times. So, 2 cube root of 10. So, that's the same as saying cube root of 2 cubed times 10. And then that's going to be cube root of 8 times 10 cube root of 80. And there we go. So there's our mixed, there's our entire. So hopefully, guys, this makes sense to you. It's a pretty straightforward topic, but again, you don't want to be getting dinged any marks anywhere. This is useful in trigonometry and stuff like that, so you don't want to be getting dinged marks for not knowing how to simplify or change forms of radical. So um, good luck, and thanks for watching.